All right, the weather today a little bit nicer than yesterday, which was filled with clouds. We had some brief showers at times today for some, but not everybody. And you can see the light on the building coming and going. Clouds coming, making it cloudy. Other times the sun shines a little bit. We got enough sunlight to push us back into the 80s. Yesterday we were stuck at 76 for a high today. 86 for the high 10 degrees warmer 71 degrees are low this morning. It's 84 degrees in High Point right now 86 in Winston Salem and also Asheboro 85 in Lexington. Troy's warm at 90 degrees. We got 84 degrees up in the uh, Madison area 90 in Yanceville 83 in Booneville 82 in Mount Airy and 86 degrees in the Wilkesboro's. You can see the trend has been for a little bit more sunshine. We've got a couple little showers up in the mountains, but they're real tiny and we got a few back toward Raleigh but nothing is going on in our backyard here in the Piedmont Triad. Open the picture up a little bit. There's some nasty storms over in Tennessee. This area under the gun for some stronger activity here this evening. And we got a little activity up in Virginia too, but nothing of any concern over us. We do have a level one threat for any severe weather. Normally with level one, you don't see severe. You see maybe some strong storms, but we haven't had any of that yet. And then you can see where we have the yellow level two. There is more activity in that particular area. And as we look at our future clouds and radar go through the evening, that weather stays out to our west and we don't see anything but maybe a stray shower pop up around here. Then another round back in Tennessee and otherwise then we're getting deep into the night and the atmosphere is cooling off and things calm down. Now we're not going to be cool tomorrow. We're going to go up into the 90s and then by 7 in the evening we're back in the upper 80s. But there's a lot of heat building in the southern parts of the country and that heat is coming our way. And you see the cold fronts? They're not coming our way. So we don't see anything that's going to be cooling us off. Once it gets started, it's going to hang around. Look at our Futurecast model. Go through the evening again, just a stray shower possible. Otherwise, we're looking pretty quiet tonight. And during the day tomorrow, don't expect much except for the heat. You see those 90s are climbing back in here tomorrow afternoon. Then as we go on into time tomorrow night, we're back in the low 70s. On Thursday, we're up close to 90 degrees. I think we'll get above 90 for our high, but we they have these clouds and a shower coming through mid-afternoon could knock us back just a little bit. Also, I want to update you on the tropics. There's a little tropical wave out here. Still not impressive, nothing to it. Just some cluster clouds right now. But the Hurricane Center says the environment that it's going into is rather favorable. And so over the next seven days, nothing in the next two days, but the next seven days, now there's a 60% chance of development in that particular area. And the way this wave is moving with the steering currents, it's going to come up close to the southeast coast or maybe stay off the coast. But again, Nothing looks impressive. Even the long range models don't really show much of anything from it. Close to 90 at the beach the next couple days. Only a 20% chance for any showers. Water temperatures are in the upper 70s and to mid 80s on the southern coast. Our mountain forecast 83 and 84 with a chance of a shower storm tomorrow. 80 degrees here this evening. Chance for an isolated shower storm 71 overnight tomorrow. Look for high of 93. Again, chance for an isolated shower storm. There's your extended forecast. 90 is going to hang around for a while. Come down slightly Sunday, Monday. Chance of showers goes up on Saturday to 50%.